All right, guys, here we go. Uh, 2x4, 2879C. This one is available. This one has not been sold. Uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and do a demo on it. I had it sitting here on the uh, test table. So I figured we'd go ahead and test it. Uh, that way it's good to go when somebody gets ready to buy it. Um, I do recommend uh, two driver transistors when you're running the 2879C. Uh, we did experiment with a, a one driving four 2879C and it seems like it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, sometimes they do okay, but really you're under driving it with the single transistor um, in the driver section. So benefit of having the two driver transistors, um, your drivers can handle more power coming in so you're not limited to a 30 watt radio. You know, you can get by running some of these 35, 45 watt radios, um, PEP that is. And then of course the two driver transistors are gonna uh, properly drive the 42879Cs. Uh, as you know, with some of the four pills I've done, we've hit those things with up to 250 watts. Uh, but generally around 200 watts PEP going into the four pill uh, 2879Cs to see them get up and go. So uh, theoretically the drivers in here, they're probably doing somewhere between uh, 200 and 250 watts, uh, depending on what radio you're hitting them with. And then that's hitting the 2879Cs and you're getting a good amount of drive. So uh, this is probably, uh, as far as the four pills go, um, probably my favorite uh, of course, comparing it to the uh, straight fours and you know one by four standards and four pill standards, I like this two driving four C a lot because I feel like the driver section has good durability, and the the four outputs are still not being overdriven, but they're being driven uh, properly. So, what we're going to do, we're going to test it uh, fourteen five. And we'll test it a little bit over 15 volts. I do have one uh, 100 amp power supply in stock, uh, 15 volt power supply. And I do have one uh, 150 amp power supply in stock at 14.5. And those can be purchased off the website, uh, roostercb.com. But uh, anyway, that being said, we're gonna hit it with the unit in, which of course is not hitting it super hard. Uh, 35 to 40 watts PEP, 10 to 11 watts average. So just a good solid bench radio. Uh, that way we don't have inflated numbers or anything like that. And uh, we've got our clamp meter here, of course. Uh, people like to see kind of what they draw. And uh, we'll just go from there. The first thing I'm gonna do is just give a good audio into the microphone and uh, see what kind of current draw we're getting. I'll go ahead and key up. That's about a 100 watt day key. Hello. So we can say about 67 amps, which is pretty good. Uh, pretty good efficiency out of it. Um, considering if you had a four pill with a separate driver, you'd probably be drawing just a little bit more than that. So that's not bad at all. 14.5 uh, volts. Uh, come over here and test the output. Again, average power. We're just gonna audio into the mic. Uh, so we get the best uh, response. Hello. So 400 watts average. And if you guys want me to just talk into it, radio check, radio check, radio check, radio check, radio check. You know, 350, 360, just talking. Uh, current draw, just talking. Radio check, one, two, three, radio check, one, two, three. So it never hits 60 amps, just talking into it normal. Um, now what we'll do, we'll just go to PEP. Again, this is 14.5 volts. Keep in mind, the C's start accelerating between 15 and 15.5. They kind of take off, if you will. But uh, this is 14.5. Radio check, radio check, radio check, radio check, radio check. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. Blowing smoke on my Ray Didio. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio radio, audio radio. You can call it 950, 975, um, but just under a thousand watts. Again, just a reminder, that's on 14.5. Now what we'll go ahead and do before we test it over 15 volts, we'll just back the, uh, the variable down. I guess we usually do it in quarter increments, so let's stay with what we normally do. We'll go three o'clock. Check, 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 check. So just, just cut it back a little bit. 
And then we'll go 12 o'clock. Check, 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 check. It's changing the dead key more than the swing. Check, check. As you can see, we're not dead keying anything. Check, 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 check. That was at 9 o'clock on the variable, and we'll turn the variable all the way off. Now, when you're using these variables, never be keyed up when you're turning them. You'll burn the uh, variable out. Check, 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 check. So it'll go down to a little bit less than 800 watts swing and uh, go all the way up to about 975 at 14.5. Now what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna check the dead key difference. Uh, I would estimate we're putting <clears throat> about two watts into this thing, maybe two and a half. This is with the variable all the way down. Check, nothing. I wouldn't run it like that. That was basically a zero watt dead key. This is at nine o'clock, still nothing. This is at 12 o'clock, <laughs> check, 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 check. Still dead keying, basically nothing. Now we could turn the carrier up on our radio and we would start seeing that dead key come up. And there you go, three o'clock gives us about 60 watts and then wide open. 140, 150 watts, which is where I would recommend running it. Um, overall dead key, 150 watts or so, let it swing. You know, you could go a little bit more if you wanted to, but that's where I would be on it. Uh, now what we're gonna do is go ahead, come over here. Let's see, let's go, what the hell, we'll do. We'll kind of split the difference between 15 and 15.5. We'll go 15. 15.2, well, actually, because 15.2 is really 15.1 on this power supply. So we'll go, we're kind of splitting hairs here. We'll go 15.3, which is really 15.2, uh, and we'll test it like that. Um, okay, so let's see what it does now. Uh, we're on average power. Hello. Yeah, we're on average. Turn our dead key down. I was like, why'd that go up there so high? I forgot we need to back our dead key down since we're running more voltage. Okay, there we go. About 120, 140 watts. Hello, all you. See, we gained 100 watts average just by changing that voltage. So came on up close to 500 watts. And now we're back on PEP. There's our peak kit turned on. Show me what you got, audio radio. Show me what you got, show me what you got, show me what you got, audio. So, 1,000 plus. The average power is what really picked up. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, since the average power picked up, get ready to see this current draw come on up. I'm going to say we're drawing 75 amps, just to uh, estimate. Oh, audio. 75, 77 amps, something like that. So the voltage difference really makes a difference on the uh, average power and the current that it draws makes a little bit of difference on the uh, peak power. So if you're an average power person, that's all you care about, uh, you will see that number come up with the, uh, with the voltage. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you for the views, everybody's business. This one is available, no wait time. I've got one, two, three, three or four, uh, three or four amps on pre-order right now. I try to keep that number five or below, uh, cause number one, I don't want to overwhelm Fat Boy with pre-orders. Number two, I don't want to get overwhelmed with pre-orders. So I try to keep that number at five or below. That way I don't have a whole stack of people's money that doesn't belong to me. Cause the way I look at it, uh, the money doesn't belong to me until the amps come in. Then I can spend it. <laughs> but uh, when you prepay for something, I never, I never mess with the money until the amps come. Um, so anyway, I don't like to, I don't like to get over five pre-orders at one time. Um, so that being said, no pre-order on this. This is available right now. Again, I have a 15 volt 
a 100 amp power supply, which will run this, uh, would make a nice little bass combo for somebody. And, uh, you know, as always, guys, we try to stay real competitive with our pricing, uh, competitive with the uh, quality of product that's going out. Appreciate everybody's business. And uh, questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.